Okay, Fran, just a short while ago, trailing Oscar De La Hoya by just a few minutes, Fernando Vargas arrives on the scene, 24 years old. When we were waiting in the outer portion of his hotel suite, a group of us from HBO waiting to talk with Vargas yesterday, he was in the process of getting a haircut, most of it closely shaved, but he left a little bit of that forelock out in front, reminiscent of the look he favored uh, just after the 1996 Olympics when he was favored to win gold and came away with a bronze. As Fran Charles says, as most of you know, Vargas makes no attempt to conceal his contempt for his opponent tonight. Vargas says, I'm the street guy. He very bluntly plays on his connection to the Mexican-American community and fans in Mexico. He says, I'm more authentically Mexican. He thinks of De La Hoya as some sort of yuppified mainstream celebrity who has sold out in some sense. He sneers. He says, I don't wear silk pajamas. I don't play golf. I don't cut a CD. I'm here to fight. I'm all about fighting. Eduardo Garcia, his trainer alongside of him. And Julio Cesar Chavez, you might be able to see, there he is, uh, just over Vargas's right shoulder. Chavez, late in his career, lost twice and decisively to De La Hoya. Vargas told us yesterday, had I been in De La Hoya's shoes, I would not have taken those fights against Julio Cesar Chavez. He is too much a sacred figure in Mexico. Of course, what was left unsaid is that Chavez himself wanted those fights and came away with good paydays. Vargas then made